The Patrick Star show is on a whole other level of weird, but that might actually work. Disney Channel announces new cartoons every once in a while, and hey, would you look at the calendar? This is Kif, which by the poster, you can tell that the characters are just here for some fun adventures. The world looks vibrant and alive, our heroes pointing at us. We also can't forget about the bird chilling in a tree, who's just reading the newspaper. This is my kind of character. Kif, which Disney Channel unveiled at the Annecy International Animation Film Festival on Thursday, is set to debut in 2023. This series follows Kif, an optimistic squirrel whose best intentions often lead to complete complete chaos, and her best friend Barry, a sweet and mellow bunny. Set in the bustling mountains, where animals and magical creatures live together in harmony, the series features a duo who take the town by storm with their endless adventures and zest for life. Each half-hour episode, comprised of two 11-minute stories, will include a new, original song. So, based on this brief tidbit of info, Kif seems like it'll be relaxing. Maybe nothing big with story arcs or continuity, but hey, it's cool to see something fresh. A full-length trailer for the Patrick Star Show has been revealed. Patrick is the kind of character that may not be able to drive his own cartoon forward, but based on the few promos we have, I feel like things won't be that terrible. Welcome to the Patrick Show, starring... Uh... This new trailer gives us a glimpse of this wacky, fantastical nature that's even weirder than original Spongebob episodes, and that's saying something. Segments will place these characters in space, in epic battles, or as robots. It feels like anything is possible, as the Patrick Star show embraces the stupidity of its main character. You can tell they're going for that overly exaggerated style, but like, in a good way. I know there are a lot of reasons that Spongebob spinoffs shouldn't exist, and it's perfectly fine if you think so. However, since Nick is pursuing Consistent in bringing these to life, the least fans can ask for is that they're faithful to the main series and they still feel like Spongebob. I don't want to count my chickens before they hatch, but Patrick's new cartoon looks like it could be fun. Of course, one of the problems lies in the concept getting old. When this exaggeration is already set high, it's hard to impress viewers after a few episodes of the same thing. Hopefully there's a balance, so things aren't crazy every single minute of every single storyline. Nickelodeon is doing a special back-to-back -back premiere with another new cartoon, Middlemost post. I'm so excited! Okay, to recap our crew meeting, this week we're gonna focus on delivering the mail, delivering the mail well, and making sure we deliver the mail well. Yes, sir! Coming from the mind of John Trebek, Spongebob storyboard artist, this series follows a rain cloud, a friend, and a walrus. It's the kind of combination that feels like it came out of nowhere, but you know what? I'm just happy Nick is out here greenlighting more original shows. They generally refuse to take risks, so this is a breath of fresh air. Purely from a visual perspective, Middlemost Post looks great. It's colorful, the characters are expressive, and it feels like a world I want to jump into. The cherry on top is that one of the main characters is voiced by John DiMaggio. That's awesome! In other news is Uzumaki, the Adult Swim animated adaptation of the Junji Ito story. If you've ever read Uzumaki, you'd realize that it's the stuff of nightmares. Now it's time to say goodbye to sleep again, because it's coming to TV! We have an official update from Hiroshi Nagahama, the director of Uzumaki's anime. The first major thing revealed is this new footage, which shows off the cursed town of Kurozocho. <laughs> Everything's in black and white, but the backgrounds are beautiful, the movement is smooth, and it captures the same feeling of unease from the manga. This may only be a small clip, but it'll be what the entire Uzumaki series will generally look like, and that's kind of impressive. Sadly, the high production quality comes with a piece of bad news. Uzumaki has been delayed to October 2022. We'll have to keep waiting, but I'd rather be patient so the team can make it the best it can be. When this drops next year, everyone will be talking about it. Trust me. And that's about all for now. I'm taking a nap. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and come up below let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.